Hi, welcome to Gen X Glam here on YouTube. If you're new to the channel, thank you so much for stopping in. If you like this video, subscribe. Go check out some of the other videos in the Gen X Glam archive. And if you are coming back, thank you so much for coming back. I appreciate you. In this video, we have to be super speedy because um, we're going to a pop-up sale. Me and my older son are going to some pop-up sale he's identified out in town that not only has bins of clothing marked down, but I guess there's drugstore makeup products. So he listed off Elf, Revlon, L'Oreal. So I'm definitely going to go check that out. You know, I'm going to go check that out. It is Easter Sunday. If you're watching this real time, happy Easter and Safa. Congratulations for winning the Elf Holy Hydration Mini Skin Kit plus some P. Louise skincare products and some other stuff I'm going to throw into that box. So go back to the video, read the rules description. You're going to need to email me at genxglamgiveaway at gmail.com so that we can coordinate the mail out. All right, so I wanted to do a few updates before I get in and just put a tiny bit on my face. I'm going to use some products I haven't used for, for a little bit. Um, I really only have 10 minutes and then I'm going to get interrupted again. Mama, like, are you a mom? And have you ever been, have you ever, and be honest with yourself, have you ever wished that you could change your name? Like not the name that your parents gave you, the title that you received when you gave birth, the mom, the ma, the mama, the mommy. Sometimes, man, I just wish I could change my name. I'm like, wait, I'm not responding to that. My name is not mom. <laughs> anyway, yeah, we're going to hear it. We're going to hear it in like basement door is going to open in 10 minutes if I don't finish this video. So, um, yeah, and I'm kind of a hot mess. So I've put down my skincare products. I used my Shawasu stuff today, the starter kit I've talked about in other videos that I bought with my 500 Sephora points. It's a first care serum followed by another serum. I used some of my Essence um, by Clarins. I used my e.l.f. eyelash serum and lash serum. I, um, I used my DIY lip oil. If you haven't watched that video, go check it out. You can do it yourself. You can make your own lip oil. I've got a really nice gloss going on. Um, so the first update is on the Charlotte Tilbury um, Beautiful Skin Line Island Glow Self Tanning Drops. Now, I have been trying to apply these things. I have been. I haven't been trying. I have applied them mixed in with moisturizer with Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream twice over the past almost 48 hours. And I only have that Shawasu skincare down and I'm not seeing a glow on my face, but I want to show you last night before I went to bed, when I was getting on ready with myself, doing my nighttime routine, I dropped a pretty generous drop on my hand. I blended it in. I put on some, some moisturizer and I want to show you that you can see the line. Okay. So that was putting the drops directly on my skin and then following up with the moisturizer. Something that I've mentioned in my other videos, I'm a little bit leery to do because I'm very fearful of streaking. Like, look at that. So they work. I just have to find the right execution. So I'm, I'm thinking I'm gonna try one more time and put these things in this, and there's not a lot of my uh, magic cream in here. So we won't be using the Shawasu because I'm just gonna go in with that was a pretty generous drop. Um, I'm gonna stir it up, I think, this time with a Q-tip. There's the ratio of drop to cream on this one. There's, it seems like I'm getting much, I don't have a ton of cream, which I don't normally use a lot of cream. So maybe this will work. Let's just go in here. Now it's all like mixed around, it's all infused. And next case scenario, next update like if I don't see you know the the bronzy bronze going on I'm just going to come to the conclusion because we know it works just to put the, the the drops like directly on your skin and then follow up with moisturizer that's what I'm going to do so let's just give this another crack I'm going to see how it looks when I um take off all my makeup tonight and see if I'm getting if I can tell I'm getting any sort of bronze and I'm not so so nervous because you know what <laughs> we can always cover up with makeup right oh also in my skincare today of course I use my new Guerlain <laughs> under eye cream <laughs> I'm, I'm still on the sample though I'm not going to open up my 20 milliliter until I think all my samples are gone actually I should save some samples for summer travel so um the day I crack that thing open 
I will share that moment with you. I know you're on the edge of your seat. All right, so today I have to, like I say, I really have to hurry. We have a few more minutes. I don't know, my lighting is so bad. Like I would ask your advice, but I know it's hard for you to judge. I mean, I probably to you just look really, really, really shiny because of all the skincare I have going on. All right, Um, I don't know if I should dip in here and get some more. Definitely gonna have to wash my hands after this because there is proof, there is proof that this stuff works. And it just might be that the best way to, to put it on is, you know, blending it in with your hands. Like that's the most aggressive I've done in terms of blending it in with my hands. I'm wiping it off now, but I don't have any, you know, that's my hands being wiped off. There's no, you don't see bronzy on here. All right, let's go in with a little bit of my under eye brightener from NARS. This is in the shade Night Swan. You've seen me use it before. If you've watched any of my other videos, it is my sort of favorite under eye brightener color corrector product that I have in my kit. And I'm just slapping it on. I'm gonna come back and blend it in a little bit better. Let's just let it sit for a minute. And I am gonna achieve some color today using this Lori, Laura Mercier. It's a bronzing sort of skin tint. I have her regular skin tint. It was one of the first skin tints I ever purchased in Lori Mercier. And I like it a lot. I bought it for my mom. She wasn't as big of a fan, but when you're getting there in your 70s, and her skin looks fantastic, by the way, um, the creamy stuff, it's in like the liquidy stuff. It's just not at certain point, I don't think, you know, great for the skin when you've got a ton of fine lines and you just, I don't know, it goes on really cakey. And my mom at least is not, um, yeah, she just doesn't feel her best if she puts on something like this, like a liquidy based foundation or, um, product. So she does a little spot concealing. She's got her favorite concealers. But yeah, she's not doing the full face of foundation anymore. And to each is their own. That's the great thing about makeup, right? So that is just sort of like not really meant to go all over your face, but it is a sunny day. Oh, that reminds me. I need to grab my sunglasses from my glam station. I think that that is a very nice sort of, dare I say, bronzy base was this is this is I don't it's not meant to go all over your face like I just did I think it's meant to kind of stay here in this you know your your sort of contour areas but I'm going crazy today I'm just going all out for that bronzy look I am willing these glow island drops to work gonna kick in and I'm just gonna be a bronzing <laughs> goddess no that's giving myself way too much credit um so oh I wanted to mention a few other follow-ups I I unboxed this in my Charlotte Tilbury January subscription box it is a foaming wash in peach love it three pumps been using it in the shower this is super, super soft. I was first a little bit leery, like, I don't want to put plastic on my face. It's very, very soft. I like it. I think it would be great for travel. I think it would be great if you're going on a trip and you're sharing like an Airbnb or something with family and friends and you want to leave as little footprint as possible, like going in and out of the shared bathroom. You don't have to worry about a washcloth, nothing like that. So I'm thinking this is going to be great for summer. I've used the Jelly Melt Skin Remover a few times. It takes the makeup off. It does its trick. It's got some good ingredients. I think the jojoba is in this. It's kind of slimy. I, I would prefer it not so colored. You know, they use um, FDA and European approved dyes in their product, I noticed when I was looking at a lot of their um, ingredients. But um, I mean, the color, I think, is just part of her brand, whimsical. Last night when I put my moisturizer on, I used this watermelon scented, and it does smell like watermelon. It's very pleasant. Um, P. Louise face moisturizer. 
I woke up this morning, my face was still feeling very moist and plump. So that works. It has shea butter in it. And that's why the consistency, it looks to me like when I opened it up for the first time, I thought, wow, this looks more like a body cream. And then when I was looking at the ingredients and saw the shea butter, it all made sense. This is the makeup melt in scent orange. I haven't used it yet, but it's your classic melt, right? Like when I bust into that, when I dig into that, it's going to break that sort of waxy top. And it's just your quintessential balm. I haven't used it, so I can't really say it works, but I'm, I'm guessing it's going to work. Um, the e.l.f. Holy Hydration Makeup Removal Balm is sort of my go-to. Um, and $11, you can't beat it. And it's one of the things I'm going to be looking at at this pop-up sale. Speaking of sales, Sephora is going to start their spring sale April 1st, I think it is. So it'll, there might, there'll be early access for Rouge. Rouge will get 20% off and then they'll go like 15, 10, depending on what um, tier you are in their beauty rewards program. So get in on that action. And if you don't have a Sephora account, at least make one. I'm gonna go in with the Milk Jelly um, Cooling. See if we can get some color on top of all of this brown. Um, yeah, so I was just saying, like, make sure you get yourself a Sephora account. And I think that this, their spring sale runs from April 1st to April 15th with early access probably being on April 1st. I'm starting to think, what do I need from Sephora? Because like I've said before, I have been trying to buy directly from brands to build my loyalty points with them, but maybe I'm going to get, maybe I'll get some more Fenty skincare. I'm running a little bit low. Now's a good time to get a cologne if if you're looking at a cologne and you're you know can get 20 to 15 percent off all Sephora products can be 30 percent off P Louise is still running her base birthday sale with 50 percent off a lot of her stuff um that is through April 3rd so there's a lot of spring sales going on this is the only product from Pacifica that I've ever liked it's um it's it's one of these that like look it's like white but when you spread it around it gets a little bit pink. So I was just gonna go on top of that and just keep going with this sort of pink pop that I have going on. Finish up with some powder. See, it's pink, <laughs> kind of fun. I'm looking really super, super, super shiny. So let's just go in with a little bit of powder. My Charlotte Tilbury. Um, this is not a powder brush, by the way. It's just what was in front of me and I decided to grab it. Um, I love this brush. I love it. You have a lot of control with it. Like look at everything that you can do. You can go down the sides, you can go on your lids, you can just hit all the curvatures of your face. Um, I think it's technically some sort of sculpting brush. Of course it's e.l.f. All right, I really have to go or somebody's gonna bust into this basement and drag me out of here. I'm gonna go with my Clinique Think Bronze again. Second time this week I've gone with this. One of my long time holy grails. I don't know, what did I miss? Oh, I pulled out my Annabelle Skinny Mascara because that is one of my favorites. I love the skinny ones. I feel like I can get to every single lash and it's not super clumpy. It would be really, really embarrassing if my kid busted down here. So I'm going to sign off. Congratulations again to Safa. There's going to be another announcement for the Charlotte Tilbury Epic Bougie Giveaway um, tomorrow on Easter Monday. If you're watching this real time, wherever you are, whatever you're doing, take care. And I will see you next time.